military disaster turns out to be a miracle. For legendsoffaith.org, I'm Rob Cutter. The British Army was facing a military disaster. Nearly a half a million soldiers were trapped on the beaches of northern France. The German army was rolling across France and the lower European countries at lightning speeds. It was looking grim as the Brits had their back to the sea. The German high command boasted, the British army is surrounded and next will be total destruction. From a military viewpoint, this was an utter defeat for the Allies. Desperate for a miracle. King George went on the radio to call the British to a day of prayer. As a day of national prayer. A few days later, churches across England overflowed with patriots praying for divine intervention. The next upcoming days were truly miraculous and will go down as an amazing victory for the Allies. A string of miracles started happening. A division of German panzers were just 10 miles from the British troops. And out of nowhere, with no explanation, Hitler called a halt to the German advance. Then the following day, fog and storms blew over the land, grounding the German Luftwaffe. Taking advantage of the weather, the British military developed a plan to rescue the stranded soldiers. The weather was in favor for the Allies. It was a short distance across the English Channel to France, where the British soldiers were. As the Navy ships started heading out, there was concern about using their ships because of the shallow water on the coast of France. So a new strategy was incorporated. The Royal Navy, over a radio broadcast, asked its private citizens to take their boats and sail the 21-mile trip across the English Channel. Eagerly, the British people responded. This strange armada was made up of pleasure yachts, paddle boats, fishing boats and even dories were among the 800 ships that were mostly operated by young boys and old men. German generals watched helplessly while more than 300,000 Allied troops were ferried across the channel. The war would continue for the next five years. The miracle that took place during that rescue operation was a critical turning point that sealed Hitler's fate. When the news broke out that Operation Dynamo, the name for the mission, was a success, the British people returned to their place of worship and gave thanks to God. The singing of Psalms 124 echoed throughout the churches. Winston Churchill said it was a miracle of deliverance when he described the evacuation from Dunkirk over national radio. One wonders how World War II would have turned out if the Allies had been defeated with their backs to the sea and no hope in sight. But it is comforting to know that we serve the same God who orchestrated this amazing miracle at Dunkirk. For more stories like this and for ways to donate, visit us at legendsoffaith.org.